Okay, so in today's tutorial, we are going to be tackling this render right here. Uh, we got some fun stuff going on. We're going to be using an HDRI. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. So first thing we're going to add is our plane. We're just going to scale it up, hit S8. And the next thing we're going to add is in the curves, add a circle. Now hit RX90, and that's going to rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. And then we're going to hold down Control and this up arrow, and that's going to put it perfectly here. The bottom on the line snaps it right there. If you hold down control, it snap, uh, snaps things on the grid for you. It's a good thing to use when you're modeling. So now let's go into the uh, settings of our curve here. Um, right here, it's not a curve, it's a bezier circle. Um, so right here on fill mode, it says half. Put it on a um, full. Scroll down to where it says geometry, and let's mess with these. On extrude, put zero on it. On extrude. Bring it out to as wide as you'd like it. And then on depth, bring up your depth. So we can give ourselves some geometry on our on our piece here. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna put it at five. So that looks pretty good. Um now four. Um so this is as wide as it's gonna get. We're gonna start scaling it down as we duplicate these objects. So however wide you want it to be, um, this is the widest it's gonna get, just as something to think about while you're picking your sizes. So now all we have to do is just hit Shift D and duplicate it a bunch of times um, for the rest of the design. So just bring it down. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select our second one here, go to the rotation, and on the X just start dragging it down. Um, so each of them you just bring it down in this. There's nothing real mathematical, just all visual on this part. Just start dragging them down and um, however you like. All right, so we've done with the rotation. This is the uh, the main piece. Next thing we're going to add is just a simple sphere. We're going to hit um, control, bring it up, scale it till it's not touching any of our pieces. And we're going to subdivide it once and give it smooth shading. And um, this is it. I'm going to put a light on it just so that we can preview it. And I'm going to go and switch to the Cycles engine. And let's, uh, let's see how it looks. And so that's um, the main model that we're going to play with here. It's pretty cool. I love this design. Um, I hope you like it. So yeah, let's get on to the rest of the tutorial. So now we're going to mess with, we're going to make this floor right here. Um, simply that's a wave texture that we put a little um, detail on. So I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into our shader, the shader editor here, and let's go into the look dev preview mode, and then let's add a new shader, and then uh, we're gonna duplicate this principle, and we're gonna add a mix shader to our node tree here. We're gonna put it right here. And we're going to add the bottom principled right here in the shader. And so we're just going to pick our colors right now. Uh, I'm going to make this red just for the heck of it. And then the one down here, we're going to make it a dark gray. Um, make it, actually, no, we're going to keep it at where it's at and just bring our roughness all the way down. And then bring the roughness up a little bit on the red one. So first thing I'm going to add here to add the waves, we are going to add a color ramp. Next thing we're going to add is a wave texture. And then two more nodes we're going to need in order to sort of tell the lines which direction to point is a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. We'll plug the generate into the vector, vector into the vector, color into the factor, and the color into the factor. All right, we have this going on. Um, so I'm just going to up the scale quite a bit and then we want to change the rotation here so here we go I want to sort of be a diagonal line just sort of improve improve the composition here all right let's just quickly add our camera so we can see what we're dealing with um, so we're gonna add our camera we're gonna give it 2000 by 2000 in our pixels and then in the camera settings, make sure your camera is selected. 
go up to your camera where it says type, change it to orthographic, and we're going to hit Control at Alt Zero. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit, and then orthographic scale, we're just going to bring it in a little bit until it fills our camera. And that's all we're going to do for that. We're going to go back into the shading and work on it a little bit more. So we need to add a bump node. And we're going to add that bump node to the red, add it to the normal to the normal. And we're going to put the wave texture right into the height. Okay, so now we got this. I'm just going to go up here and add a little bit of distortion and up the detail all the way. So now it'll look like this nice bump and then it's super reflective in our dark black. Now in the color ramp, I'm just going to make it a little bit more extreme here and just sort of play with it. And yeah, that's what um that's what we're dealing with. So the next part is just shading these. I would recommend um, using color palettes. I, um, I'll link a tutorial in the description of how I use the color palettes, but um, just for the sake of speed and to just give you guys a good idea, um, I'm just going to add a texture. I'm going to make it red and we're going to make it metallic. And then he I'll show you guys a trick. If you click all your circles here, hold shift and just click and make sure the last one you click is the one that has a shader on it. You can hit control L and click materials and they all get linked to that same material. And then I'll give this one our sphere here. We'll give it a dark texture and we'll make it metallic as well. And let's check it out see how it looks on cycles. So that's it right there. I'm going to use an HDRI for our lighting. I'm going to link HDRI Haven in the description. It's all free HDRIs. Feel free to pick one out and add it to your render. And to do that, go to your world settings, click use nodes, click right here and click environment texture. Yeah, so this is basically the design. Um, I would actually go in and pick a different HDRI, but we're just going to use this one for the sake of uh, the tutorial. But yeah, I mean, sometimes lighting will make and break your make or break your tutorial. So I would go in and just be really careful with whatever HDRI you want to use. I used one that was in, indoors, so it doesn't really look that good. But you get the idea. Um, for your render settings, I put my samples at uh, 300, and I just put a little bit of denoising. So I, um, in the strength, I put 0 0.1, and um, that's basically it for the um, for the rendering. You can render it. It's gonna be a good, um, good, cool render. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do make this render, uh, feel free to send it to me on Instagram. I'd love to see you guys um, do these designs. And yeah, thanks for watching.